Oh, and it is time now. Thank you very much, Zoe, for all of that uh, weather update. Time now to just up the feel good a little bit because, hey, we got some brand new music. Uh, and it's one of our favorites here on the Express of Morning Show who's come to share all of this with us, having shared the stage with the likes of Mikasa, Jimmy Nevis, Craig Lucas, Youngster CPT, Paxton, Vicky Sampson, uh, singer and uh, musician, uh, uh, song and writer as well. Uh, Jean Cito is no stranger to the glory of the limelight. And you know what? He takes to the limelight so, so well. Let's take a listen to what he has to offer. Lost so far from trying Oh, but honey don't taste like summer no more Stick around, I'll miss you every night And we could pass time moving left to right Thinking about our life goes by All within a day Tell me everything and all the lies Say you're waiting for a better sky Oh yes, come on everybody, let's give a very warm express of welcome to Jean Cito! <laughs> Ah, oh, the man of the hour. It is so good to see you. It's good to be back. Man, what a time, what a season. You've got brand new music. Let's start here. You, you sing, all right? You write music. Yeah. You are a maestro at the guitar. And you still manage to hold down a full-time job in digital marketing. How on earth do you do it all? <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, it starts with your team. Uh. With the level of trust that you have in your team when you... When you can't do something, you know, um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be managed by Andre Machine um, that owns Machine Management. And um, I mean, with regards to work, like, you know, I work for a really good company. So mm. when, you, when you do things that you love, you just make a way. There's something about how you've been able to make a way and sort of fuse all of these different worlds together. I mean, one of your passions is fashion mm. and the ability to complement your fashion with your music uh, has built this Jean Cito brand that we all have yeah. come to love. Uh, uh, what is the inspiration behind the music and the fashion meeting in the way that they do for you? I mean, I think I've always been an R&B singer, so like, but new age. Mm. So you look at all of these, these old school singers, um, and I always try and figure out how I can mix and match the mm. old with the new. Um, so yeah, I like fitted things, um, things that match my style with yeah. the music. So yeah. How would you def uh, define or describe your style? Um, <laughs> I, like, I, I just like everything in its place. Yeah. You know, nothing must be messy, nothing must be one lapel out yeah. of place so I think it's I'm, I'm very finicky when it comes to my style yeah. Yeah. in place in place uh, another thing that you've put in place is brand new music last yes. week you dropped uh, a new single for you let's talk about this new sound <laughs> and how you've reimagined how you know you, your sound sounds or comes mm, across mm. Uh, talk, to, talk to us about it so as I said I'm an R&B singer but the world is moving in a different direction mm. and that's Afro pop mm. so I figured, you know, I want something that can be played in clubs, played yeah. on the radio, um, that's essentially feel good, um, that I can perform at festivals. Mm. So something that's, that's, that's upbeat, you know, that you can pop it to, that's catchy. Yeah, you know? ah, and listen to that, the beat just dropping. I mean, it makes you want to just like get up and hit the streets right now. The music video looks so, so... Oh, crisp and international. You are so ready for the big time. Uh, but now you have new music coming yeah. out as well. Your plan is to drop, what, three singles you were saying to me yeah. earlier on. Three singles and then an EP a bit later on. Uh, will the sound be entirely Afropop and, uh, uh, influenced? That's that's exactly what I want. I mean, my singles, not all of them are Afropop. Mm. Um, because I like to, to target different audiences and different followers, yeah. different listeners. Yeah. Um, but essentially, I want my EP to be around Afro Bop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I always want uh, to ask musicians, and especially well, artists, especially mm. musicians, the question around mental health. That's a big yeah. conversation and yeah. a big focus for us on the show this morning. With so much going on in the world and all of the breaks that we've had to experience, yeah. uh, for you having to juggle so many things all at once, how do you cope with managing your mental well-being? Mm. Um, I mean, I think for most musicians, COVID hit us the hardest. You know, like yeah. entertainment was just yeah, that was, was a difficult down. time. You yeah, know, yeah, a difficult time. But um, the love for music always. 
came above that. Mm. Um, so at the start of this year, I was, I told myself, yeah, we need to, you need to start tackling what you love again. Yeah. Um, and I think you just have to keep your heads, keep keep your wits about you when you when, mm. you, when you when you really want to do something. I've always been someone that's a go-getter that goes for exactly what he wants. Yeah. Um, and more times than not, I, I get what I want. You know, you know exactly so, what you want. Yeah. We get what we want because what <laughs> we want is what you want and what you want to create, which is really beautiful. So I suppose the message is mm. find joy in the things that you love, find yeah. comfort in the yeah. things that you love, and that should sometimes help you stay afloat. John Cito is going absolutely nowhere. He's here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And of course, you can stream all of his brand new music on all leading digital platforms. It's available. Let's show some love to the man of the hour. Is John Josito, everybody! Oh, yes. Boo.